In the previous episode of the Arm Life, I showed you some parts of my new car and I wanted you to guess what type of a car it is. Some of you were right, some of you were wrong. Right now it's time to show it to you, the whole car. Thanks God that it's wet. This is it. Volkswagen Bora with automatic transmission. For sure, it has some scars like this, 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 what kind of pin pin? Yeah. In this episode, I wanted to go painting, I wanted to do some traditional graffiti video because I know that you love this stuff, but I expected that there's gonna be snow outside, but instead of snow, we got just a um, mess. Just mess. So expect some graffiti later this week, but today, today it's gonna be about custom stuff. Almost everybody every single day use a keyboard. This is my old one and this is the one that I use right now. There is nothing special about both of these keyboards so we're gonna change it today. The first step is very important. Take a picture of the keyboard. You know why. If you don't, let's find something for lunch. And the lunch is ready. Just in love with the idea of you. My grandfather always used to say, don't eat behind the computer. There are still some buttons over here, but I'm not gonna take care of that. Water and my table desk are not a good friend. By the time while these guys are getting dry, I want to try something else. You know that I use these Moloto acrylic markers almost in all the customizations. I love to use them, but there's a one problem. When I use them on a paper, it's not so good. But the problem is not in the markers, the problem is in the paper. And that's the reason why I decided to get this sketchbook one for all professional art book from Moloto. I got it because of bombingscience.com, link in the description. The thing about this sketchbook is, is the paper, the type of the paper. It's made for a painting with these acrylic markers. Twice, if I could be a paradise. I have to make a Chrome sketch, but I realized that in the recent weeks I've been doing <clears throat> just Chrome pieces, so I'm gonna be colorful this time. Come on, it's a Chrome season. So far I can say that drawing in this sketchbook is a completely different story. The 
sketch is done, I'm gonna show it to you at the end, but most importantly, the buttons are R R R right. And the thing that I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna rewrite all these. to also do a custom mouse or a custom Xbox controller if you would like to see something like that thumb up would be awesome and let me know in the comments below your favorite computer or gaming brand I mean brands like Asus oh hey this is Doug from the future and I got some news for you yesterday when I've been finishing this keyboard I was upset because I didn't like it but if you want to talk about the sketch this sketch was totally fine. Check him out. But if you want to talk about the keyboard, I got upset, I recreated the keyboard multiple times, and then after all this, I posted something into my community tab on YouTube. It was something about the channel in general, but the thing that I want to mention are these beautiful reactions on that post. My awesome subscribers, so many people wrote their such an amazing things and I highly appreciate it. And I realized that everything is just fine. If you sometimes create something what you don't really like, it's totally fine. So guys, this is version number one. We think, for the perfect way. Time so This is version number two. So which one is better? I think that none of them is super awesome, but whatever. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.